how to iterate over an array slice or maps in the go line in the go programming language so uh, till now we have not seen how how to define the map but we have seen how to define arrays and slices so let let me first uh, define a map for you okay so i'll call it uh, city map okay and map syntax is map keyword you need to use okay and then you need to give the uh, keys and then the values data type so first of all for india uh, it will be in delhi so i'm mapping country with the capital then for usa it's new york and for canada it will be toronto maybe so this is how you can define this map okay now if you need to iterate uh, over this map you can use uh, range function okay so for for city map for city range keyword you need to use and i'll use i have given city map fmt dot print ln country is country map and uh, with the help so in any map uh, you can get the value of map map by putting the keys using keys you can get the values okay so let's save it and see whether we can get the values or not so you can see that i am getting the country and city uh, with the help of this so this is how you can define the map this is how you can use the range function okay range function can be used uh, with uh, integers uh, array or string array or slice or map anything okay so here we have earlier defined an array so let's use range function to iterate over it okay so for that i'll use int maybe i'll use l and range in numbers uh, numbers okay uh, in we don't need to use and then i'll use uh, fmt dot println range number values maybe equal to comma l okay so this is how you can iterate over the array using range okay so let me print it so that you can we can okay so you can see that it is able to print so we have seen how to iterate over a map using range and we have seen how to iterate over an array using range function okay similarly we can uh, iterate over slice as well so thank you so much for watching and uh, this uh, another uh, using key and value both can be uh, given as well uh, so country from uh, ct this is another way of uh, doing the same what we have done here
using so using key you can get the values or using range you can get the key value both i can give ct directly and this will also print the same thing here you can see it is printed the same okay so thank you so much for watching today's video and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel